Hey there, folks. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the lifeblood of aviation? Yep, you guessed it right. It's jet fuel. I'm Kirk, and in this episode, we're going to embark on a journey that explores the intricate path of jet fuel, from refinery to runway, and how this path unravels the truths about the skies above us. Jet fuel, a highly refined offspring of kerosene, is the driving force behind the majestic jet engines we chatted about in our last episode. Did you watch that episode? It's part one in this series. Jet fuel's tale commences in the heart of refineries, where crude oil is subjected to a complex dance of distillation and treatment, resulting in a high-energy, clean-burning fuel that is absolutely indispensable for commercial aviation. Now, let's zoom into our case study for the day. Seattle-Tacoma International Airport, or as we fondly know it, SeaTac. This bustling hub, a portal to the Pacific and beyond, stands as a testament to the precision and attention to detail involved in fuel logistics. The jet fuel finds its way to SeaTac primarily via the Olympic Pipeline, a vital conduit running from the refineries in Washington State directly to the airport's fuel farm. This lifeline ensures a seamless and safe supply of fuel, strictly adhering to regulations to prevent any contamination or degradation. In the midst of this logistical belay, a question often pops up. How does understanding jet fuel help debunk the chemtrail theory? Firstly, the meticulous production process ensures that jet fuel is of the highest purity, fine-tuned for performance and safety. The idea that harmful chemicals could be secretly added without affecting the engine's performance or the fuel's properties is simply implausible. Moreover, the transportation and storage of jet fuel are governed by stringent safety and environmental standards. At SeaTac, for example, the integrity of the fuel supply is of paramount importance, with regular testing conducted to ensure quality and purity. The introduction of unknown substances into this tightly regulated system would not only be hazardous, but also immediately detected by the numerous safety checks in place. Right now, we're going to uncover this fascinating journey and how it reveals the truth about the skies above us. Jet fuel, a highly refined type of kerosene, is the powerhouse behind the jet engines. Its journey begins in the heart of refineries, places of transformation where crude oil undergoes a metamorphosis. Picture this. Crude oil, a dark and dense liquid, is first distilled into various components based on their boiling points. It's like a grand sorting system, separating the light, medium, and heavy components. The medium fraction, often referred to as kerosene, is then treated and refined further. Through processes like desulfurization and hydrocracking, impurities are removed and the chemical structure is altered. The result? A high-energy, clean-burning fuel that's primed for performance. But the magic doesn't stop there. The refined kerosene is then blended with additives. These are not nefarious substances, but a cocktail of performance enhancers and safety agents. They prevent icing, control static electricity, and even inhibit corrosion. Similar to how the pump gas you use in your car will sometimes have additives to enhance your engine's performance or clean the internal workings of the engine itself. It's like a wellness package for the engine, ensuring it runs smoothly and safely. This isn't a haphazard process, but a carefully orchestrated symphony of science and engineering. Every step is monitored and controlled ensuring that the jet fuel meets the exacting standards of both quality and safety. Can you imagine how many people would have to be involved in the chemtrail conspiracy for it to be true? Everyone in the supply chain, all the workers at the airport, ground crew, and even the airplane manufacturers and their employees. 
Instead, it's a testament to human ingenuity and precision, a dance of molecules and machinery that brings about the lifeblood of aviation. So, next time you gaze at a plane soaring high in the sky, think about the remarkable journey of the fuel powering its engines. From the depths of the earth, through the refining towers, to the wings of the aircraft, it's a journey that spans continents and transcends boundaries. This high-energy, clean-burning fuel is essential for commercial aviation. Without it, the marvels of modern flight, the connections we forge, and the horizons we explore would simply not be possible. But beyond its functional role, the story of jet fuel is a testament to our relentless pursuit of progress. A beacon of human achievement that illuminates the skies above us. Remember that today, the day I published this video was the 100-year anniversary of the first transglobal flight. It started right here in Seattle on April 6, 1924, and ended up back here on September 18th of the same year. That is an incredible story. So I may make a video about it soon. Let me know if you'd like that. So let's celebrate jet fuel, not just as a product, but as a symbol of our collective journey towards a future that's always just a flight away. Now let's zoom into a case study close to home for many. Seattle Tacoma International Airport, better known as SeaTac. This airport is a marvel of logistics and a testament to the intricate dance of aviation fuel supply. SeaTac, a significant gateway to the Pacific and beyond, handles an impressive volume of air traffic. To keep those planes in the sky, a constant and dependable supply of jet fuel is paramount. So, where does all that fuel come from? The answer lies in the Olympic pipeline. This pipeline, a vital artery in the body of aviation, runs directly from the state's refineries to SeaTac's fuel farm. It delivers the lifeblood of flight, that indispensable jet fuel, ensuring a continuous and safe supply. The Olympic pipeline is more than just a conduit. It's a lifeline, a testament to human engineering and our relentless pursuit of efficiency. But it's not just about getting the fuel from point A to point B. There's a whole lot of science and stringent regulations involved to ensure the fuel remains pure and potent. From the moment the jet fuel leaves the refinery, it's subject to rigorous checks and balances. The pipeline itself is meticulously maintained to prevent contamination or degradation of the fuel. At SeaTac, the integrity of this fuel supply is paramount. Regular testing for quality and purity is performed, ensuring that the fuel that ends up in those massive jet engines is of the highest standard. The processes in place are thorough, leaving no room for error or, contrary to conspiracy theories, the introduction of harmful chemicals. So, as we take a moment to appreciate the complex ballet of jet fuel logistics at play in SeaTac, we gain a deeper understanding of the systems that keep our skies full of aircraft and our minds free of chemtrail myths. This pipeline is a lifeline, ensuring a continuous and safe supply of fuel adhering to stringent regulations to prevent contamination or degradation. As we stand in awe of this logistical ballet, a question arises. How does understanding jet fuel debunk the chemtrail theory? The answer lies in the very nature of jet fuel production and the strict regulations surrounding its transport and storage. Jet fuel is not just another form of gasoline. It's a highly refined product, carefully crafted to meet the demanding requirements of modern aviation. The process of creating jet fuel from crude oil is meticulous, involving a series of distillation and treatment stages that ensure its purity and performance. Every single element of jet fuel is accounted for, optimized for the high energy, clean burning efficiency needed to power our flights. The idea that harmful chemicals could be secretly added to this mix during production is not only implausible, but also technically unfeasible. 
Any foreign substance would affect the fuel's properties and performance, potentially risking the safety of flights. In essence, the very nature of jet fuel production debunks the idea that it could be used as a medium for spreading harmful substances in the atmosphere. But let's not stop at production. The transportation and storage of jet fuel are also governed by rigorous safety and environmental standards. At SeaTac, for instance, the fuel supply's integrity is paramount. Regular testing for quality and purity ensures that the jet fuel remains uncontaminated from the refinery to the plane's tanks. Introducing unknown substances into this tightly regulated system would not only be hazardous, but also immediately noticed. The numerous safety checks in place would quickly detect any anomalies, further debunking the notion of chemtrails. So, as we marvel at the contrails in the sky, remember that they are simply the byproducts of our amazing ability to fly, powered by the clean, high-energy jet fuel. They are not sinister plots, but rather signatures of human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of safety and efficiency in aviation. In summary, introducing unknown substances into this tightly regulated system would not only be hazardous, but also immediately noticed by the numerous safety checks in place. So, as we contemplate the contrails etched across our skies, Let's appreciate the immense infrastructure that supports our journeys through the air. The real story of jet fuel is one of human triumph, a testament to our ability to harness the resources of our planet to conquer the skies. It's a story of ingenuity, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of safety and efficiency. The production of jet fuel, as we have seen, is a complex dance of science and engineering. It's a process that turns the raw potential of crude oil into the high-energy, clean-burning fuel that powers our flights. It's a process that has been refined over decades, driven by the tireless work of countless engineers and scientists, all striving to make our flights safer, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly. And then there's the logistics. The journey of jet fuel from refinery to airport is a marvel of modern infrastructure. At SeaTac, for instance, thousands of gallons of fuel are pumped through the Olympic pipeline every day, a lifeline that keeps the airport's planes in the sky. This system is a testament to our ability to plan, coordinate, and execute on a massive scale, all while maintaining the highest standards of safety and purity. The chemtrail theory, when examined in the light of these facts, crumbles. The idea that harmful substances could be secretly added to this carefully controlled system is not just implausible, it's impossible. The trails we see in the sky are simply the byproducts of burning jet fuel, water vapor that condenses and freezes in the cold upper atmosphere. They're not sinister, they're science. The trails we see are not sinister plots, but the byproducts of our remarkable ability to traverse the globe. Let's carry this knowledge forward, not just as a shield against misinformation, but as a beacon of curiosity and understanding. The real story of jet fuel is one of human achievement, a testament to our ability to reach for the stars and touch them. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Stay curious, ask questions, and let's continue to soar together toward truth. Before you go, please make sure to like, comment, and share. I'll be making a few more in this series, so subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications. Thanks.